So when most people think of cooking, they think of grocery stores or restaurants, but actually there's a lot of food you can find in the wild if you know how to forage properly. One key step to finding uh, anything in the wild is you have to learn tracking and oh, look there, look at that, a banana. Not a shocker to find, I mean they are in season. Now uh, you can usually just put those in your pocket and they'll keep, uh, even though they are a tropical plant indigenous to North Dakota, uh, but tracking an animal is key and when you're walking and, oh, oh, what's that, oh, granola bars, oh, that's a good find right there. And you're always going to want to make sure your granola that you find is uh, non-GMO be, uh, because that is uh, bad for you and uh, you want you to just don't eat it. Alright so what I have built here is your basic standard trap. So we got a ring of sticks um, so when the food crawls up this ramp it'll have uh, no choice but to be uh, stuck in the trap and starve until I find it. And this trap only takes a few minutes to put together. It catches medium to small sized food. Another secret to foraging in the wild uh, to collect food is you're going to want to find an alignment of trees like this. And uh, food likes to often travel under the snow. It's probably because uh, snow is water. Uh, so listening to the vibrations and just having a good overall ear will help your odds. And uh, Oh, there! Ugh, what do we got? Yes! Oh! Perfect turkey sandwich. It is definitely mid-February. Wow. Oh, good stuff. Let me put that in my pocket. Uh, let's see. We should probably uh, go check on our live trap again. See if we got anything. Just want to carefully peek over. What do we got? Oh, oh my. Yes. Let's check this out. Oh man, I can't believe it. What a find. Ah, oh, yes. Just what we've been waiting for. Well, I guess they are in season. And uh, it looks to be a chicken ramen noodle, which makes sense. I mean, you're not going to get beef this time of year. Yes, but this probably means there's tons of chicken ramen noodles left out there. I'm not going to uh, put it out of its misery on camera, though. You guys don't need to see that. Uh, yeah, so uh, here's a little tip, especially if you're a greenhorn forager. Um, you may have heard of ice fishing, but here's how you snow fish. Uh, you just got to listen to the vibration, and if you're lucky enough, eh, you can dig right. Look at that. Fresh tuna. Uh, very pungent flavor, but... Um, nutritious and good for you and oh sometimes they're slippery and can try to get away from you but you got to hold firm and uh, good stuff. Another big tip to foraging is you're going to want to wang jangle some bushes you know give them a good rasslin and uh, oh there we go yeah and then uh, honey nut cheerios should uh, fall from the shrubbery. I hope you enjoyed this instructional video on foraging uh, be sure to subscribe and share it with your friends I mean I'm out here in the middle of nowhere miles away from any sign of uh, civilization. So...